Gurdip Pandar loves to dance. He loves to dance Bhangra. And since moving to the Yukon back in 2011, his dance classes have only not only helped him keep his tradition alive, but it has created friendships right across the country, all while breaking barriers and stereotypes, along with putting a smile on people's faces, something, of course, we all need during this pandemic. I'm now joined by Gurdip. Great to have you on the program. Thank you so much, Angie, for having me. I'm honored to be here. You know, talk to me. I mean, we love watching all of your videos, and I think I can say this for Canadians right across the country. Talk to me about what the dance means beyond, of course, the tradition of Bhangra, but that connection with other Canadians. So this dance means a lot to me, like this Bhangra dance, which is traditional dance of Punjab, Punjabi folk dance. So I've been dancing it for a long time in Canada and also a long time in the Yukon. And for the last couple of years, I've been making videos and publishing on social media. And so many people are watching. Not only they're watching, they are sending me their feedbacks, not just in the form of electronic messages. They also write me letters with their hands. Uh, so it feels uh, uh, means a lot to me that people are... Uh, uh, not only watching my videos, they are also learning. Mm. They are also understanding. They are also creating that sense of acceptance. Yeah, and I think you said it right there, that acceptance, which is what, you know, we all need to be, we all need to be having, we all need to be embracing. Bring in the pandemic, Gurdip, into all of this, and certainly it's changed the way you've been able to reach out to people. I know that you were also teaching, you know, Bhangra classes and, and, and whatnot. How has the pandemic changed things for you? Pandemic has changed a lot of things for me. Like, for example, before that, I used to teach in-person classes. Then I started teaching online classes. I did not that know that online world exists. Um, that was a new discovery. Now I have uh, students from all over the country and beyond uh, and uh, sharing this love of dancing and dancing together during pandemic with them. It has been great. And also I felt so wonderful that I, I was able to contribute um, my part uh, into into uh, bringing joy into people's lives. Mm -hmm. And also um, uh, throughout this pandemic, I have been dancing every day, making my dance video every single day, publishing on social media and my uh, dancing through uh, pandemic. It has completed one year recently. Uh, so it has been great for me in many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it's also really broken down a lot of barriers. It's really raised awareness. It's, uh, in some ways, it's rejigged some of that conversation that we've been having about race and discrimination, Gurdip. What are your thoughts? So I recognize that uh, race, and, uh, racism and discrimination do uh, exist in our society. Um, so... Uh, we, I also recognize that we need to uh, do something for this. So I've been, I, I've been making my my dance videos. If you remember, a couple of years ago, I, I danced with the Canadian Armed Forces, mm -hmm. uh, made a video with the same message, the message of inclusivity, message of diversity, and also spreading joy and optimi optimism in our communities. So that video. Uh, uh, brought a lot of awareness. I, I, I always say that, uh, um, what, what are the reasons behind this racism and discrimination? Mm. Lack of education. Mm -hmm. So through my videos, I'm spreading that awareness. I'm spreading that education. Because when we learn something which we were not aware of that before, it brings us together. Uh, it, it, it also brings uh, not only together, we, we feel more empathic about other people. Um, so I, I'm so uh, happy that uh, not only I was able to contribute like joy and positivity and also uh, bring this education about uh, that end of the day, we are just people. You know, you said it right there. And we just, you know, I, I, we're watching the videos as I'm talking to you and I can't stop smiling because I love watching you dance Bhangra. And I know you've taught so many people uh, as well. I love that you're breaking barriers through all of this uh, and certainly during a pandemic. We need to smile. Gurdip, you make us smile. Gurdip Pandar, the Yukon Bhangra dancer. Thank you, Gurdip. Stay safe. I hope we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much, Angie, for having me. Thanks. Thanks.